going to do, we're going to go down the road to a pond. I want you each to take a testing tray with you and look at what it contains, oxygen, the ecology, you know, the environment. Seven. So guys, can you tell me what the pH is? <laughs> With a 7.7. Is that acid or alkali? Alkali. Alkali, good man. Let me see what you can catch. Oh, yes. Where went the fish? Oh, you, you got a fish? What? Yeah, good. Oh, you got a fish? Yeah. Oh, you got two fish? Yeah, no, there are. Look, there's one. Okay, wait, let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, what is this? Look at this. Keep it still right here, right here, right here. Good job, good job, good job. Uh, blah blah, blah. does it have no legs yet? Does it have a joint leg? Is that joint? Would you say that's joint leg? No. It don't look like that, no. I reckon it's that one. Water scorpion. Oh, so I found a water scorpion. Terrific. Congratulations. Thank you. That may be the prize specimen. Are you taking all the glory for my thing? My one. No, it's mine. I got it. I actually got this it. What you, this effort. is what you call it's teamwork. It's not team effort. I went this into is, the This is what you call teamwork. And Emmy held on a. That is way too up close. Does it have a tail? No, it has spikes. No. Does it run or skate on the surface? It was no. a no. Can you see body segment segment on the back of its abdomen? You can, yep. Yeah. Yes. Dragonfly nymphus. Nymph. Oh, hey, little nymphus. That's so cute. If you look at the screen here, you'll see something which is quite interesting from the pond, because this is the basis of all life. What we've got here is a cylinder. This is a single cell. It's an alga. And you'll see swimming around between the plants are these little microorganisms. But notice how these plant cells are filled with this green material, which is the chlorophyll. And that releases the oxygen, which makes the pond water capable of living in with these microorganisms. They've got a lot of organisms there, haven't you? There's loads. I've seen this wiggly. Fantastic. Took it out of the mushroom. Yeah, the mushroom. Yeah, mushroom juice. Speaking of the worm, it's probably the baby worms in their larval stage. That kind of worm is what all biologists use to study development. It's a very, very important model. Hey, guys, I hope whenever you walk past a pond, you'll just look at that screen and think, look at the number of living creatures that are in that one tiny droplet of water. It's astonishing, isn't it?